An update on our I-Team investigation of Fairway Oaks. Residents are finally getting answers about their sinking Habajack's homes, but they say there's still a long way to go. We have a view now of the Northwest Jacksonville subdivision from Sky 4. Habajacks built these houses 16 years ago. Residents have been begging the city for help for the past decade, ever since their homes began splitting and even sinking. Last August, we told you attorneys for the city, Habajacks and Legal Aid, began discussing a way to solve the problems that would satisfy all involved. After several meetings, the president of the Homeowners, Asso Homeowners Association tells the I-Team the city, Habajacks, and Legal Aid have now agreed to evaluate each of the 85 homes. Channel 4's Francesca Amaker first broke this story, and now, Fran, nine months later, are we seeing a possible solution? Well, Mary, we're seeing a solution that these residents thought was pretty hopeful and in their favor, but tonight we learned that the city of Jacksonville and Habajacks may have left out one thing. For Nathaniel Borden, it's been a long time coming. For years, he and the residents of this Fairway Oak subdivision have gone back and forth with the city and Habajacks about the homes they feel are poorly constructed. For the past nine months, multiple city officials have walked the neighborhood, and the I-Team even worked with a third-party engineer who identified multiple issues with the structure. For months, there was no action. But now, Borden says they are finally getting results. They basically agreed that I'm saying that, I'm saying that all three of them will actually come out or whatever and come to terms on what needed to be done. According to Borden, attorneys from Legal Aid, the city and Habajacks got together in November and they each agreed to bring in their own engineer to determine which homes were repairable and which homes needed to be demolished. But Borden says there was one big issue. Right now, like I say, testing was not on the table. And basically from day one, since even going back before the media, that has been our objective to actually find out what it is we're living on. A report in 1997 found that pesticides, chromium, lead, and arsenic were detected in one soil sample taken from Gulf Brook Drive and Brook Forest Drive. All reasons resident Detrice Mixon says testing the soil is vital. The home's going to stand, but the children will die off from lead poisoning, cancers, ovarian cancer, breast cancer. That's what all these metals lead up to, cancer, cancer, and this stuff that can be avoided. So residents have rejected that offer from both the city and Habajacks. In the meantime, residents have had two separate foundation specialist companies come out to evaluate whether placing pillars in the homes would be an option. But even those separate experts agreed on what needs to happen first. On Ramjack's report and Alpha report, it basically stated that testing would need to be done to the soil to actually to obtain the material that is actually in the soil. And Ramjack's uh, report from two weeks ago actually shows that two of the homes that they tested have sank within the past two years because keep in mind, Ramjack's actually tested these homes two years ago and it shows that again, these homes are on the decline. Now, again, we have been speaking with a lot of city officials. We think things are going to be getting done, but things are definitely moving slowly. We're now reporting live from Chesky Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. Fred, is there a timeline when those engineers will begin their assessments? Well, these engineers, again, there's no exact date, Tom, because keep in mind that the residents said before they want the three engineers to come out, they definitely want this soil tested. So until they can all agree on that, there's no date when it comes to the engineers coming back to Fairway Oaks, Tom. Francesca Amaker reporting to us live tonight. Thank you, Fran.